Today I want to talk about this great book by Nathan Fox on drawing portraits in charcoal. I've talked about this book in both my videos on how not to draw figure drawing uh, as well as my recent video on values. So all links will be in the description. Uh, Nathan has a great use of simplified forms and shapes and that's mainly what we're going to learn here today. So going through the table of contents, you can see that he separates the book into materials, uh, using of those materials uh, for challenges, uh, the structure, clarity with artistry, values of light and shadow, the design of edges, a very important part, portrait composition, common mistakes, putting it all together, and then some quick sketch drawings and a gallery of drawings. Uh, so, basically, what I want to emphasize here is the use of grouping of values as well as hard edges versus lost edges. This is masterfully done uh, by him, so it's something that we can definitely learn. Uh, the use of materials will be a big part because charcoal is not that easy to control, so understanding how to mastered them and he has also a course on schoolism uh, where you see video footage of this there are some videos on the internet so i'll, I'll definitely bring some of them uh, so the challenges he mentions uh, are uh, practice a uh, time limit value grouping and perception or value limitations as he puts it and all of them are intertwined uh, having a, a time limitation will, focus, will help you focus on clarity and limiting your values. It will enhance your perception and all of that will come with a lot of practice. Uh, I, I skipped through a lot here uh, so you can go later on uh, slowly uh, on the book. But everything that we saw in the four challenges is discussed throughout the book. So here are common mistakes. It's interesting to see that he uses the Riley method. Uh, Watts Atelier also teaches that. I'll have a link in the description for their website. Uh, so it, it's a very three-dimensional structure. Uh, all, almost can feel a little stiff. So it's, it's interesting to see that Nathan uses that as the underlying structure, but he focuses a lot on the 2D readability later on, uh, simplifying a lot of the three-dimensional forms uh, and connecting them so you can have a better uh, readability overall. So that is to reinforce also that learning uh, methods and structure will help you get free of that structure later on uh, and not think about that and focus mostly on the overall quality of the drawing. I think there's a video for, for this drawing. I'll add that to the description if I find it. But a lot of examples of different drawings by him. It's interesting to see how productive he is. Uh, he, he has done a lot of these drawings throughout his career. Uh, and I imagine how many uh, of those we want we will never see uh, because they weren't good. So only the good ones that made it to his book, uh, you, you can count on the hundreds. So it's interesting uh, to go back to the four challenges of the first one, practice, practice, practice. Don't compare yourself with the perception, the value limitations and the time limits that he has for himself as uh, he has done this over and over and over again. Uh, so I think that's, that's great. And you can copy some of those, understand uh, how he thinks once the decision making is already done. You definitely benefit a lot uh, from, from that. So I highly recommend doing that as well. A lot of different artists have learned a lot from copying and distilling the knowledge through uh, examples. So that's pretty much it uh, for the book. There's a, a little bit of a, a Q&A uh, in the end. So I hope this was useful. Uh, don't look at this only as a charcoal drawing book, but focus on learning how to see and how to organize readability. I think that will go a long way, even if you're not a portrait artist. So I hope you learned something. 
Uh, have a great one and take care.